Okay. Uh, this is the... F Oops, I'm just super zoomed in there. This is the final... Uh, uh, addition to our mapping map interpretation and the final one is going to be using longitude and latitude uh, every map um, in the united states is standard or not standard not all of them are the same but the standard in the united states is a scale of one to twenty four thousand or a seven and a half minute map what that means is this length is seven and a half minutes this length is seven and a half minutes well how the heck do you how the heck is a minute a length well, um, arc lengths, if you ever in a math class, geometry or algebra or pre-calculus or whatever, uh, you start to learn uh, arcs and lengths and whatever. So you start with degrees. So there's 180 degrees uh, or 360 degrees in a circle, uh, 180 in a hemisphere. Uh, but then there's, you can keep going smaller. You don't go half degrees. You go into minutes. And then smaller than minutes is seconds. There are 60 second or 60 minutes in a degree and 60 seconds in a minute. Obviously, it's the same as you would do with a clock. Um, and what I mean by each side being seven and a half minutes long, you can see that uh, 45 minutes plus seven and a half minutes equals 52 minutes and 30 seconds. So this map, and if you, why are those numbers there? Well, you can see I just kind of blew them up because they're right here, and they're really small, 46 degrees, and they're in the corner of every map. That's how you determine. And then they're also in this corner, but they're different a little bit. Does that make sense? Okay, we'll go to the bottom here as well. You'll see it. Cool. Okay. Now, before my camera dies, we're going to quickly go over how to find a point on this map. So, as you can see, it's a rectangle. So, that means this 7.5 minutes is not quite equal to this 7.5 minutes. Um, logistically, they are, I mean, they're still the same degrees, but because of the way this map worked out, it's not. Uh, so, the best way I've found to uh, find the scale is... Well, not the best way I've found. The only way, not the only way, goodness sakes. Well, what they do with these maps, so they split them into thirds for you. One, two, three. Now, how the heck do you know that? Well, you go in. 50 degrees there, that's a split. And then 47, 30. Don't get them mixed up with these um, other points. We did that in the other video. You don't want to mix those up. But this is the ones you're caring about. This one and this guy. And that's two and a half minutes between each other. Does that make sense? Because two and a half minutes plus two and a half minutes plus two and a half minutes equals seven and a half. Uh, same thing up here. And same thing down here. And this one's nice because in this map, these two lines um, equal exactly about two miles. So we're able to take that. Uh, where did I just put that piece of paper? There we go. We're able to take that. And then what we can do is put that right here. Is what I did. And then I, well, I could put it at the, how far away they are from each other, or it's same thing up here, how far they are away from each other, those two points. Oh, and then what I did was I split into fifths, because two and a half divided by three, or two and a half divided by five, two and a half minutes divided by five is 30 seconds, so each one of these points is a 30 second on the latitude here. Um, I already figured out the calculations, uh, but I'll go over it again uh, for this construction zone here. So what I did was I went here, I said, okay. Or I didn't actually do that. I went here. I went, oh, okay. So that is a 50. Oops, looks, it's 55. That's 55 right here. Okay. How much farther than that is it? So we went here. And then what you can do is you can kind of just slide it down. And then I figured that this was less than 30 seconds since it's right, right here. Oops. I'll back up a little bit. So it's less than 30 seconds. Less than, or it was actually more than 15, it looks, too, if you just push it down. More than 15, so I said about 20 seconds. So, since it was 55 here, it's 55 uh, minutes. That's 55 minute, by the way. That just kind of takes out the degrees. So it's 55 minutes plus 20 seconds. So the um, lat or the longitude of this coordinate, of the construction zone here, construction site here, is 113 degrees, uh, 55 minutes and 20 seconds. And that puts you there, but it could be this exact cor. However, this coordinate could take you to any of the points along this edge because they're all in this longitude. So, I mean, 
you could figure it out, but you want to be more specific. Um, so we use this side too. And however, you can't use the same, you can't use that because if you look, if this is a point, that's too small. So what you have to do is take the another side of your paper, or you can use your compass or a ruler or anything. And then I'm gonna take that, and mark that about where it is. Okay. Now what I usually like to do uh, is it makes sense for me at least is if I take a ruler, measure it out. Oh, that's it. Doesn't have to be exact, exact, unless you're trying to throw a bomb at a person, you probably should make it specific, but since this is about eight, and I want to split it into fifths, ooh, well, that's not, that doesn't work out quite, but we're going to take a calculator and just quickly figure that out. So we'll do, uh, what were we doing? Eight divided by five, 1.6, so about one and a half. So we'll start at the base here, and then we'll go about one and a half and then we'll go about a little bit more than three, a little bit more than four and a half, uh, a little bit more than six, uh, a little bit more than seven and a half, and that equaled about almost about where we were at. So, good enough, at least in my opinion, because I mean you're just trying to get a rough estimate, and this is way too small of a map to get an accurate point measurement. So, now the same thing we're going to do is we're going to take it to this point. Uh, right here, I'm at the edge of my paper, bottom right, right here, or bottom left, right here is this, that's the 50 point, so we're going to take this 50, and then we're going to slide it across, and since we did, did such a terrible job, we're going to say about a, a minute, a uh, minute and a half there, we'll do about a minute and 20 seconds, I'd say, so, back to this, so if this was 50 and we're going up, we go 46, oops, I'm not right, shoot, I'll zoom out. So we're 46 degrees, and then since this was 15, we said a minute and a half, we'll go, or a minute and 20 seconds, we'll go 51 minutes and 30 seconds. And that is the coordinates for this little guy. Cool. Uh, we could do some other examples, but it just get really repetitive and it's all the same stuff so just make sure to look at your map determine where these are the uh points and make sure not to get confused with the other ones get those points and then get try to get a uh, scale so you can get the points more or less and then if it's a multiple question test like most um, of our contests are uh you just find the closest answer that's the best way i can put it i mean you could get uh one of those nice little rulers that can measure it exactly but i don't have one and with a piece of paper and a ruler you could do the same thing and get a pretty close answer and with these 24 000, 1 to twenty four thousand maps it's just about the same so uh that's doing one final thing um when we're doing these latitude and longitudes you have to remember that since we are uh at least in montana we are in the northern hemisphere we're in the united states northern hemisphere and we're also in the western hemisphere so this would be 113 um, degrees west and 46 degrees north uh, and this is yeah it's just west north uh, and then you'd put them where they would want them uh, and that's just to keep in mind especially because we are where we're at, and you also have to keep in mind of our declination, but however, since it's so close, here we'll zoom in real quickly, I talked about the declination in one of the previous videos, but we'll just gloss over it real quick, is that this is the um, grid line north, so these point these grid lines are facing towards that north, which is pretty much uh, true north, and this is magnetic north, so when you're using a compass on this map, if you're, trying to f if you're on uh, Mount Sentinel and you're trying to get uh, to uh, the Milltown uh, Mountain, you'd have to take in mind that your declination is going to be a little bit different, but uh, that's just something to keep in mind. Cool. Thank you guys for watching.